Hello everyone, welcome to JHC Gaming. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. Enjoy the video. What's up guys, Johnny here. I'm back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we look at the top three best builds in Shadowgun Legends and some of their variations after the update 090 balance change. We will start with the combat builds because that's what I'm using today. So 12 combat, the combat builds, they do a lot of damage because they have access to the iron sight damage. It was buffed to 15% extra damage and they have access to the extra 25% damage with secondary weapons. These builds are good for PvP and PvE. They do damage, they got the accuracy, they got the extra ammo in the magazine. This version right here, the 1262 or 6122, is my favorite of the two because of the extra survivability. You got two points in survival, so 15% extra health and the med kit. So it's good to farm the PvE content, which is a bit harder, like silver and gold arena and hive mine you don't have the big survivability passives like melee resistance and explosion resistance but you do a lot of damage so it's still a good one the downside to the six agility is you don't have access to the extra sprint speed that's the only thing that some players don't like about that build but we will look at the variation the other combat build some players like to use the 8-12-0 combat build instead you trade the survivability for the sprint speed. You get two more points of crit damage also because every point in agility gives you one extra crit. So it's a very good damage build, but zero survivability. So no med kit and less HP. I personally prefer the one with two survival, but it's personal choice again. One thing about the combat builds, they're fun to use in both PvE and PvP. The 1262 is my favorite of the two because of the survival. It's good for capture the flag also. You got the med kit. It's always fun to have in capture the flag. You have the supercharge, which is also great in PvP. Uh, you got the sentry gun also. So it's a pretty decent build. You guys should try it. If you want to know more about the damage builds or the combat builds, check out my channel. Search YouTube, Shadowgun Legends Damage Builds, and you will find I had a whole video just about the 12 combat builds uh, with a lot of gameplay. You get insane numbers with these builds. They're really fun to play. Now the next one is the agility build. It's the build I play the most. Since the update came out, I only play two builds. When I like to farm PvE a lot, I really love the 1307 because you got AM bomb, you got all the mobility, you got the crit damage, you get luck of the devil, but you also got great survivability because you have explosion resistance and you have melee resistance and of course the med kit and everything. So if you're gonna farm end game PvE content, it's probably one of the best builds because uh, the survivability of course, is really good in gold arena, okay? Explosion resistance is probably underrated. It's 25% explosion resistance. But this build is also viable, I say, in team PvP because AM bomb is still pretty good. So if you're gonna play team PvP with this build, you have access to AM bomb. The only thing you don't have for PvP PvP that players like is the projectile resistance but you have mobility you got good active skills but you don't have the extra accuracy which is always a plus in PvP now talking about PvP some PvP players like a variation a slight variation of that one all you do is you trade one point from agility to survival you lose the AM bomb but you gain the projectile resistance and I always hear a lot of PvP players saying this is a pretty damn good build in PvP although you don't have the extra accuracy, you might want to choose some weapons that naturally have high accuracy numbers and you will do pretty good. Now the last one on the list is the 938 hybrid build. It's always been something in Shadowgun Legends, the hybrid builds seem to do very good in both PvE and PvP because they have a bit of, or they have the best of both worlds kind of. They have the mobility of the agility builds and they have the high survivability, the explosion resistance, melee resistance, and projectile resistance for PvP. Plus, they have the extra accuracy with the three points in the combat three. So these hybrid builds always been popular, and after 090, uh, it changed. It used to be 839, and now it's 938. 
I don't hear a lot of players play that, but it seems like every time there's a topic or a question on social medias, people asking for best builds, we always see a lot of people comment about the 938. So I know people use that and that's why it's in my top three. Although I don't personally use that one, I know it's doing really good. So if you guys don't know what to play, you might as well try that one. So my top three builds in the new meta, the 13 agility, one of my favorites, 12 combat, super great. And 938, although I don't play it, it is in my top three. But there's one more build I want to show you guys. It didn't make my top three, but I hear a lot about it. I know a lot of players uh, use it. So I decided to include it in the video. It's the 992. So it's got a bit of everything, but it doesn't have the big skills of either the combat build or the agility build. But you got the two survival. It's always good for PvP and PvE because you got the med kit and capture the flag or arenas I really like it but yeah the 992 you have the mobility but you don't have the crit damage you don't have the blink you have the accuracy you have the extra magazine cap but you don't have the big damage from secondary weapons or uh, the extra aim down side so I'm not a super fan of it on paper but I know it does great I know a lot of players use it it's just in my opinion you should go high on one or the two to have access to the big skills, the 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 skills that give you a lot of value, you know. But hey, uh, it's out there. And I know there are tons of other builds. I just wanted to make a top three video. But you guys leave me a comment below. What skill build you use the most and you think should be in my top three? If I see enough comments, maybe I'll take another look at it. Maybe I'll even do a video about it. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, hit the like if you enjoyed. Leave me a comment below. I'll read everything. I will be back soon. Take care. The show must go on.